Right, so it means that um, the when optimization latency is the secret killer, right? So if you if you do the data reduction or if you do the, the bandwidth optimization, so that is fine. But what about the latency? You cannot avoid the latency, right? So for the latency, we've got multiple other ways. So that you cannot eliminate the latency, but with the same latency, you can do some prediction. The prediction in further slides right so it is one of the other feature distributed computing problem so that means that if you if your applications or if your branch servers are distributed across right so it means so, so there will be some problem so few servers are at the branch and few servers are at the data centers so you will not have better performance so basically what still it does is that it consolidate all of your infra at the data center and at the branch location you will have a copy of your infra or the applications and you can optimize the things as well or else you without without having a backup of your applications on the branch location you can still optimize with the help of rios module okay all right so now we'll talk about sdi we we'll talk um, one by one as i uh, Said you that um, we have covered wise legal bread, right? So now we'll be covering the, uh, one by one module of legal bread. Like, uh, what are the features, right? So these are four other features available. Now we'll talk about data streamlining. So we've got two components one is your STR, <coughs> that is your LG compression, okay. SDR and LG compass. What is SDR? It is called your scalable data reference unit. What is LG compression? It is called your compression technique. Okay. So we'll talk about this one. So before I talk about this one, I'll just explain you how it works. Okay? <clears throat> I hope you guys are um, aware about SDR, but a uh, few other guys might not be aware. So I'm just explaining SDR in detail. Yeah. So basically, what SDR is, whenever you're copying a file from a data center, suppose. Let me open my paint. <clears throat> Let me just open a notepad. Okay. This is suppose a branch location. And this is a data center. This is a branch. This is a data center. Right? If we talk about steelhead, what the steelhead will be? It will be between your, between your router and your switch. It is your physical deployment. So I'll, I'll explain the deployment in detail, so not to worry. But here I'm just explaining how, how the connectivity is. Okay? This is suppose your switch, distribution switch. All right? And here, all your access infra. All right? So here one of the client is sitting, suppose. Okay, this is your stealer, this is a bank stealer. And this is your van. The van cloud. I'm sorry for the drawing, because I'm very bad at drawing, guys. So just forgive me and my drawing. This is your data center steelhead. And this is again you can see your distribution switch. All right. This is your suppose server. Okay. So I'm explaining you uh, how the data streamlining works and 
know it's saved uh, the bandwidth on the when side. Okay. So if we talk about the placement, uh, we placed two steelers, one at the branch location, other at the data center location. And uh, for the connection, I'll explain you in further slides. But here now, I'm just explaining you the feature, how it is going to save the bandwidth on the, the when side. Okay. Suppose a client initiates a request to the server for a file. Suppose a client is requesting for 50 MB file to the server. How the connection will build? One connection will be built here, this is called your router channel, right? One connection between both the steel heads or your inner channel, and one connection between your uh, data center side steel head to your server, which is your outer channel, right? So, whenever a client is requesting for a file from a server, suppose 50 MB, the request will go to the server, suppose 50 MB file. The request will go to the server and uh, the server will share the content to the data center side steelhead. So once the data center side steelhead receives the file, it will try to chop it. Okay, so that means once the content goes to the data center side steelhead, it will chop it and it will make chunk and reference. Chunk plus reference. So that means once Client requests the 50 MB file to the data center, it sends the file, it comes to the data center side steelhead. So, the data center side steelhead will chop the files in the form of chunk and reference. So, each chunk value it can be from bytes to megabytes, and the reference value will be very small. So, that means it will do in this fashion. See here, you can see multiple binary representations. So that means, so this is my file, suppose. All right. So it is further getting broken into multiple chunk and re multiple reference. So each reference it points to some of chunks. Okay. So basically you can see so the reference value is just the pointer which points to your actual data in the data store. All right. And uh, it is uh, just uh, like multi-level references it creates first level, second level, and third level. So that means we are just breaking down the data into chunk and references. And with the help of the reference, we can reconstruct the data as well. So that means, how we are doing? The data center side steelhead receives the file, it will break into chunk and reference. And then the first time it sends both chunk and reference to the branch. Both chunk and reference is get to the branch. The first time, which is your cold transfer. That means uh, it requested for a file from a server. The server sent a file towards the client, but the data center side is still here. It will intercept that file and it will break into chunk and reference. So the first time it is going to send the chunk and reference to the branch. So now the branch receives the, receives the chunk and reference and it will save it on the branch side still here. Alright, so now. On the branch side steel here, we now have both the chunk and reference stored on the data, data store. Every steel head will have got a partition which is called a data store. On the data store, it stores the, it has got cache. So, it's files in the form of binary. The first time it stores, okay, and then the second time the same user or some other user. Copies, it tries to copy the file from the same server, I suppose. So, how the, the transaction will happen there? The request will go to the server, but now, whenever the server is sending the content back to uh, the steelhead, it is going to it is going to check whether the same content has been saved or not. Okay, so the second time, whenever this file is being transferred from the data center side steel head, it will check the content and it will check whether the same content has been chopped earlier or not. If, this, if the data center side steel head has got the same content available, it is just going to send the reference only, it is not going to send the chunk, right? It's just going to send the reference values. 